Hi guys, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Due to the popularity of one of our recent videos, Cord Wars, be sure to check that out in the description if you haven't. We're gonna make one more monster from the Godzilla movie. Um, this is probably a lesser known one, it's Mothra. In the new movie, it has a lot of bioluminescent colors. So I've got colors Seafoam and Lilac, as well as some glow-in-the-dark microcord to add some cool accents to it. And you also need a Type 1 fit. Let's get started. We're gonna be using a variation of the Solomon's Dragon Weave, which we recently made a Game of Thrones bracelet in that style. But this one's gonna be a little bit different. And then it's gonna have that micro cord weaving on it too. So start by finding the middle of your cord and put that down through one side of the buckle. This is just a standard setup. Then make a cow hitch on that end by just fitting it over the buckle and pulling the cord tight. Like that. And then go ahead and put your other ends down through the top of that other side. And then pull it through until it's your wrist size. I like to just try it on and tighten it down until there's a couple fingers gap between the bracelet and my wrist, like that. And that'll leave enough room for, our, for the bulk of our bracelet to not make the bracelet too tight. While holding that in place, go ahead and release the buckle. Then put each of your ends that you're working with off to each side. And we're just gonna do one knot of the cobra weave to get it in place. So put the right side over the top, and then this left side down, or over the top of that, down around back, and through the hole. Then just finish that off by doing the mirror image of that knot. So left side over the top this time, right side over, around back, and through. All right, so now, if we kept doing that, it would be a normal cobra bracelet but we are going to add the lilac cord in so that it has a little bit different pattern. To start off, put that lilac cord down through the middle and then off to the right side. And then as we make our weave, we're gonna go right cord over the top, left cord over, around, and then up you want to go underneath that lilac cord. So for the normal Solomon's Dragon, you would alternate every side, but we're going to hide that cord for a couple steps and then bring it back up a couple knots down the line. So to keep going, just put that lilac cord right alongside your core strands because you don't want that to be showing. And continue your cobra weave switching each time. And now we're gonna bring that cord back. So it's gonna come up through the middle. And to the left this time. We're also putting our left cord over the top. Right side around the back and up below that lilac cord. Now every so often we have alternating sides, this lilac colored little spot there. So just keep on doing that down the length of the bracelet and then I'll catch you at the end and explain how to do the, the microcord weaving. All right, so we got that weave done. I'm gonna go ahead and clip the ends of this before we move on to the lacing. Now it's time for the microcord lacing. This is a little bit more complicated of a weave than other ones. Go ahead and put the fit on the end of your paracord. Because this is microcord, you might need to melt end a little bit, make it big enough to fit onto the threads. So if you put your fit on, pull out about five feet of your microcord, and I'm just gonna leave it on the spool in case I run out, and then I can feed it through and keep on going without splicing. So to start, turn the bracelet over and I'm gonna go through this left side, or when it's right side up, it's gonna be that right side loop that goes by the buckle. And just 
pull all that slack through. And then down through that first loop. Pull that all through as well. So you have a little loop like that. Then we're going to take it across from this first eye and go down through the, the opposite loop there. So we went down through that loop. Now we're going to do this loop next and actually down through that loop as well to make this piece on the other side. Like that. We're just going to keep on zigzagging all the way down the bracelet and then we're going to come back on the other side. So we're going to kind of have a double zigzag line the whole way. So one more time, down through the loop opposite the eye. And then down again the one right below it. So I'll catch you when I reach the other side. All right, so made it to this end. And I've just tucked it underneath for this last little bit. Um, my last eye is on the right side. So I'm just going to start on my way back. I'm going to go down through that loop right below that first eye. And then make sure it comes up below the cord that I went down with. Tighten that down and then where this white cord is going into that loop, we're just going to go down through that same loop. And it should look like a white V now going down into that loop. So now it's just going to be the same pattern on our way back as it was before. So you can flip it around if you want so that the, the directions are the same. We went down through that loop, so now the one below that we're going to go down through again. And then just go down through that loop across from the next eye and repeat until you get to the other end. All right, so finished that up. I just poked both of them through to the bottom. I'm just going to tie a couple overhand knots in that before I cut those off. And one more just to be safe. But that is the bracelet all done. So it looks pretty cool in the light, but it looks even cooler in the dark. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Again, be sure to check out our Cord Wars, where we have Godzilla facing off against Ghidorah in a bracelet battle. As always, we'll put links in the description for all the supplies that we used. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.